Hello, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach and a host of To Take Your Life Back Today show. As an addiction recovery coach, I want to share something with you. Let me be crystal clear to leave an everlasting impact upon you. Imagine, just imagine being buried alive. You're in a coffin, but you know you're not dead. You don't know how to get out of that coffin. You try lifting the lid, but the enormous weight upon the lid prevents you from opening it. You try banging on the lid to maybe unsettle the dirt and somebody might bang, uh, dig their way down to helping you. This is what it's like to find yourself at the lowest point of alcohol and drug addiction. You know you need help, you know you can't do it on your own, but you don't know how to get help. In reality, there are probably people standing by your grave. You just think you're going to die. <clears throat> Usually, though, people don't think about death when they're habitually abusing drugs and alcohol. In order to feed an addiction, you have to be great at repressing the fear of death. I often ask you, my audience, did it ever cross your mind while you're abusing drugs and alcohol that maybe, just maybe, you might overdose and take something away that God had given you called life. With this, let me leave one last thought. Don't be like the person that I just spoke about that went to their grave without seeking help. Instead, pick up the phone and call me at 844-405-HELP and I promise I'll help you take your life back before your life is gone. People like Larry Geis, addiction recovery coach, life coach for many, 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 many years. You can call me at 516-458-2741. We can find me at www.odysseyconsultant.org. Larry Geis and I always tell folks like you, it doesn't matter where you came from, it doesn't matter where you've been. What matters is that you are seeking help for a better today and a brighter tomorrow. Call Larry at 516-458-2741. Folks, at night... When you take your slippers off before jumping into bed, don't just put them by the edge of your bed. Stick them directly under your bed. In the morning, now you have to go get those slippers, but you can't see them standing up, so you need to drop to your knees and look under your bed, and there they are. Go retrieve those slippers. While you're on your knees, why don't you utilize that time to thank God for everything that you have. Your home, your food, your relationship, your health. Also ask God for guidance and direction, forgiveness and mercy. This is the time that I call Nemail, K-N-E-E mail. Nemail is a personal chat line between you and God. And if you put your slippers under the bed at night and you retrieve them in the morning, it's the best time to remember to speak to God each and every day. The power of prayer is so strong, and it's stronger than any other force in the world, any king, any uh, queen, any president. The power of prayer between you and God is the time where you communicate with God. And the more you do it, and the most more often you do it, and the more uh, it comes from your heart instead of just words, the more you'll see results. The power of prayer. Get a hold of God. Now put those slippers on. Stand straight up and walk with God 24-7. Folks, a trip to Israel spiritually empty I'll give you six reasons why a trip to Israel will change your Christian life. Specific ways a trip to the Holy Land will deepen your faith. <clears throat> Let's go and talk about that. There are countless reasons why Christians should visit Israel. Not only is Israel a country of immense beauty, history, and culture, but it's also a biblical Holy Land, the place where Jesus' birth, ministry, death, and resurrection all took place. For these reasons, millions of Christians have traveled to Israel to make a pilgrim to a place where the Word was made flesh and dealt, dwelt among us. If you travel to Israel, you will have the opportunity to walk along the shores of the Sea of Galilee, pray at the walls of the original Temple of Jerusalem, and reflect within the Garden of Gethsemane. You will also have a chance to walk the same stone paths that Jesus walked. Christians who have visited the land of the Bible have had their faith and their biblical knowledge enhanced in transformative ways. They have said that their lives were forever changed because of their visit. Here are six reasons why a trip to Israel will change your life. The Bible will come alive. As you walk down the same roads that Jesus once walked, during his earthly ministry, the Bible will come alive within you. You will no longer have to imagine the places, names, and events in the Bible. These will now become surreal, real living images. You will be able to feel the words of Scripture, visit archaeological remains of many 
of the cities, trace the stories and the scripture on maps, and explore where the stories of the Bible all began. The biblical places and events you have read about in the Bible will no longer seem the uh, world away. The pages um, in the Bible will be made more alive and more real. Let's push this this way. Okay, there we go. You will experience God's presence in a new way. A spiritual pilgrimage is the opportunity to break away from your regular routine to concentrate on your spiritual life without any sort of distraction. A time for prayer, a time for meditation, learning, and enrichment. It is the pilgrimage that surpasses all others. While we can pray anywhere in the world and experience Jesus' presence in our lives, a spiritual pilgrimage to Israel will allow you to experience God's presence in a whole new way. Many of the Christians who have traveled to the Holy Land have said that during their travels to various locations, they felt God's presence around them. Israel is the perfect retreat, the perfect place to seek the Lord, the only place where Jesus walked and again encounter the source of the probables he used in everyday life to hear his word as though it were his first time. It will change your understanding. A journey to Israel will provide you with a deeper, clearer, and more vibrant understanding of the Bible. So many Christians focus on the Bible for its spiritual meaning and forget that the Bible is also a historical text. At a time when the Bible is under attack, a visit to Israel can strengthen your understanding of the Bible and veracity of the history and the stories contained within it. Jesus said the gospel would go out from Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria to ends of the earth, and it is in Jerusalem where some of the most pivotal events of the Bible took place. Your understanding of the scripture will grow with every step in the land of Israel. You will hear powerful testimonies of God at work. If you travel to Israel and listen to the stories of the logic, local believers, you will hear powerful testimonies of God at work in their lives. Some will share how the Lord has revealed himself through dreams and visions. Others will share how they witness miraculous occurrences. These stories will inspire you. Visiting Israel is also an opportunity to discover ways that your church can partner with local ministries to aid in God's calling, to help people who live here. As scripture says, you will be blessed by being a blessing to the people of Israel. You can pray more effectively for Israel and for the world. While we know from Scripture that the Jewish people are God's chosen people, many Christians don't understand the connection between Israel and the church. Throughout the Bible, God calls for the peace of Israel and commands our support and aid of Israel. Israel is, precious, Israel is precious to God, the apple of his eye, chosen by him among all other nations. He holds them in the strength of his own mighty hands. He also instructs us to be watchmen on the walls of Jerusalem and to pray day and night until God's promises to Jewish people, which will be bless the world, are fully fulfilled. A trip to Israel will allow you to meet Israelites face to face and speak encouragement to them. Your first hand experience in Israel will help you pray more effectively for Israel, the region, the entire world. Your heart will be opened. If you are eager to deepen your relationship with God and discover the new facets of your life, Israel is the place to visit. Not only will your relationship with the scripture change after your first visit, but also the relationship with God. Once you have had the opportunity to visit the sites of the Bible, walk on the holy ground and reflect in the places where Jesus traveled and prayed, you can begin to search His Word with more passion and wonder and open your heart to God's incredible power. You will, surround it, you will be surrounded by examples of fulfillment, prophecy, and see God is keeping His promises to Israel. Your visit will allow you to see God's faithfulness and the truth of His Word. A trip to Israel will transform your life in the ways that you couldn't even imagine. It isn't until you visit the Holy Land for yourself that you can truly appreciate the Holy Land. If you have the time and the means to go to Israel, please go, especially if you want to grow in your faith and biblical understanding. Consider taking a trip to the Holy Land of the Bible today. 
if you're interested in doing that, there is an easy way to look it up. You can go to www.land-of-the-bible.com. Let me repeat that. www.land-of-the-bible.com. A trip to Israel. Isn't it time you walk the streets that God walked, that Jesus walked, that you pray at the walls of the Holy Land, that you visit the culture and the people that live there? Let today give you six reasons why to visit Israel and to fill your spiritually empty inside. And may God bless you.